Good morning, my kitties. This is Cattails with another story. This story was recommended by the library, a lady from the library, called Back at the Ranch. She said this would be a really fun story for me to read to you guys. So, here we go. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. Rancher Higgs lived out west as far as the eye could see. There was nothing, not even a roaming buffalo, so nothing much ever happened. I think I'll drive into town and see what's happening, said Rancher Hicks. Want to ride along, Elna? He asked his wife. No, I've got to dig potatoes, said Elna. So Rancher Hicks climbed into his truck and drove 84 miles to the town of Sleepy Gulch. He stopped at the post office to look at the new wanted posters, but they were the same ones that were there 12 years ago. <coughs> <coughs> Meanwhile, back at the ranch, <coughs> the cat had just had kittens in Elna's sewing basket when the phone rang. Hello, Miss Elna Hicks. Yes, Miss Hicks. You have just won a brand new wall-to-wall frost-free, frost-free, super cool refrigerator with a built-in automatic food maker. Why, I never! Exclaimed Elna. The delivery men are on their way. Oh, look at the kittens! Look, there she is on the phone. Meanwhile, yawn back in Sleepy Gulch, Rancher Hicks strolled on over to the barber shop for a whisker trim and to hear the latest gossip. So what's new, Bob? asked Rancher Hicks. Well, back in spring of 49, we had a rainstorm you wouldn't believe. Why, it rained for pretty near a whole five minutes. Folks thought it'd never stop. Nothing much been happening since. There is it. Gulch. Sleepy Gulch. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, the dog had just had puppies. When the postman came up, the drive with a spe special delivery, Elna opened it. It was her great Aunt Edith's will. It said, My dear Elna, I'm leaving you with my entire estate, which is worth a bundle. Your loving great Aunt Edith. P.S. Enclosed is a winning lottery ticket. I didn't have time to cash it in. So Elna cashed in the lottery ticket and put a new sliding glass in the house. Then she added a new wing for the wall-to-wall -wall refrigerator and a new den for the puppies and kittens. Wow. She did a lot, didn't she? Meanwhile, snore back in Sleepy Gulch. Rancher Hicks moseyed on over to Millie's Mill Dew Luncheonette. What's on the menu for today, Millie? Well, we got potatoes mashed and potato fried and potato boiled and potatoes baked, potatoes roasted, potatoes stewed, potatoes scalloped, potatoes steamed, and one egg. Sounds great, said Rancher Hicks. I'll have one of each side order of fries. Oh, my goodness. A lot of potatoes. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, after all the pigs had had piglets, Elda finally started to dig potatoes. She struck oil. The oil men came and gave her lots of money. They started eight new oil wells and an oil refinery that day. Elna took the money and had a very stylish sty built for all the pigs and piglets. Wow, look at all that oil. Meanwhile, Cy, back in Sleepy Gulch, Ranger Hicks headed over to the general store to check out the checker game. Howdy, boys. What's new? Well, Bernie here just got a king, and it only took him two weeks, said Kurt. And I just jumped two of Kurt's men in a little over two hours, said Bernie. Wow, what a game, said Rancher Hicks. I can't wait to tell Elna. And Elna's got a lot to tell him, huh? Meanwhile, back at the ranch, all the cows and calves had a... When a silver limo swung into the driveway, out jumped a Hollywood movie producer and his hairdresser. Wow. Elna Hicks, I'm going to make you a movie star. So Elna went on a diet and lost 20 pounds. The hairdresser dyed her hair blonde and painted her lips red. The movie producer gave her a script, a bikini, and a large stack of dollar bills. So Elna had a glamorous cow palace built for all the cows 
and calves, and she studied her script. Wow. Meanwhile, ho-hum, back in Sleepy Gulch, Rancher Hicks started across Main Street when he saw it. Amazing, he gasped. Folks ran to see it. Incredible, they said. <laughs> A crowd gathered. This is big news, really big, said the newspaper editor. We'd better wake up the mayor, said the sheriff. The mayor came. Why, I've never seen anything like it, said the mayor. He, so he declared it a town holiday. The whole town watched it for hours and hours until finally a, tur a turtle crossed Main Street. There goes the turtle crossing Main Street. There he is, guys. That was their big event. Meanwhile, back at the ranch... All the horses had colts when the president's helicopter landed in Elna's yard. Elna Hicks, he said, you got the finest horses west of Washington. I'm making you a diplomat. Please deliver two of your finest horses to the Queen of England. The president paid Elna for the horses and gave her diplomat's diploma, an autographed picture of himself. Don't forget to vote for me. Elna took the money and had a very stately stable built for all the horses and colts. Meanwhile, zzz, back in the sleepy gulch, the sun began to sink slowly in the west. Rancher Hicks felt bad that Elna had missed all the excitement, so he stopped and bought her a box of Cracker Jacks. This will make her day, he said. Then he climbed into his truck and drove 84 miles back to the ranch. Elna met a rancher, Hicks, down by the mailbox. He gave her the box of Cracker Jacks and told her about all the excitement. Shoot! I miss everything, said Elna. Then Rancher Hicks turned around. What the hey? <laughs> Meanwhile, Elna opened her box of Cracker Jacks, and inside she found a real diamond ring. Wow! That lady hits the jackpot, doesn't she? She's gotten to be a Hollywood movie star, and let's see, her, the president came over, and all kinds of neat stuff. Well, this is a wonderful, adorable story called Back at the Ranch. So I hope you all have enjoyed this story as much as I have enjoyed reading it. So... Ta-ta for now, cattails out, and have a great day.